Hello everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about marketing cloud growth. So today we will learn together how you can enable marketing cloud growth on the Salesforce core platform. As you know, like marketing cloud growth is a brand new product released by Salesforce in 2024. And the specificity of this product is that it's based on the Salesforce core platform. So you can access your marketing application, your marketing software directly from the same space as you access your Salesforce CRM or your Salesforce service cloud. Everything is based on data cloud within the Salesforce platform umbrella, which is a great thing because it means that you can access everything in one space. So the agenda of today of this demonstration video will be to show you how you can simply enable data cloud for marketing cloud growth, how you can install the different uh, data kits, which is basically one click, it's very fast, how you can attribute yourself the right permission set to do the setup of enabling marketing cloud growth on the Salesforce core platform. And finally, how to set up the identity resolution rule or rule set that will allow marketing cloud growth to recognize the contact and leads based on uh, field attributes such as first name, last name, email address, and mobile. So all of that will be within the next step of the video in the demonstration. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you have any question or comment, please feel free to drop them in the comment below. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm in uh, Service Cloud. I will be going into Setup and we will get started. So the first thing that I will try to do is to enable uh, Data Cloud. So I will go into Data Cloud Setup and here I should be landing on an Assistant and I will just click Enable Data Cloud. So here, as you can see, we are on Data Cloud Setup. Welcome to Data Cloud. Here you should have something that say uh, enable data cloud, like a sort of button. So you can click on that and this will create your uh, data cloud org. So, okay. Now what you can do as well is to ensure that you have the right permission set to do the setup. So you can click on settings in here and within settings, you will, uh, you will go into uh, something called advanced user details. And within advanced user details, we will be looking for something called um, um, permission set. And within permission set, we will try to look for uh, two things. We will be looking uh, for marketing cloud admin and data cloud admin. So I will write data cloud admin. So as you can see, I have the permission set enabled here and marketing cloud admin. I have the connection set as well. So I can save that and this will allow me to get started. So once I've been doing that, I can go into uh, setup again and click assistant. Uh, assistant home. So it will be within assistant home that you will be able to configure marketing cloud growth or advance. So here you will have something called basic settings. You can click on that. And here we will be looking at just clicking enabling pretty much everywhere. So you need to ensure that you have a data cloud enabled. Yes, create a Salesforce CRM connector. So here we will go back into data cloud setup and we will search for Salesforce CRM in here. And we will uh, search for the data bundle called Sales Cloud and we will click install. If it's not installed, it will be uninstalled. Okay. Uh, after that, we will uh, go back into the, the rest. So add default image channel, this we didn't do it, is automated. Add data production automated. 
enable marketing cloud, you have to click on it and it will be enabled. After you have like the different data kit. So what you can do is click on install and it should be installing all of them. I'm not sure why I have an error on sales data kit, but I'm sure I can fix it uh, pretty easily. But yeah, um, basically a data kit will be a sort of object uh, that will uh, be created in marketing cloud growth or like it will be, um, it's everything is relying on data cloud. So it's something within data cloud that is created, uh, but that is used from marketing cloud growth and advance. So this, all of that is set up. And finally, you can automatically generate a rule set for the identity uh, resolution uh, rule, identity, identity resolution. Uh, so this is basically, if you have like uh, contacts, uh, John Smith coming from um, Salesforce CRM and contact John Smith coming from Service Cloud, it's the same person, but Mark, Marketing Cloud Growth doesn't know it. Um, so for that, we create what we call a unified individual that will say, if the first name is John, if the last name is Smith, if the email address is john.smith at gmail.com, then it's the same person. So put, the, put this to John Smith as one in the unified individual. That's what it is. Once you set up all of that, that's very straightforward. Uh, as you can see, you will be able to go into marketing in here directly. And within marketing, you will go uh, directly in here. So you, you, this is your marketing cloud growth, marketing cloud advanced app. So as you can see here, you will have like the different campaigns uh, that are available. You will have everything related to the segment, like the segment are based on data cloud, but that's how you build your segment. Uh, you will have the possibility to create uh, marketing flows as well that are different uh, from like the admin flow in setup that are marketing related. So all of that will be uh, available. So now I will just show you if we continue, that's not it in terms of settings. You have what we call like the advanced settings that are all like required setup. So here, this is something that you will need to do as well is like, for example, email. Um, so here, like you will be set up, setting up everything that is related to your uh, DKIM, DKIM uh, setup, SPF as well. Uh, this is where you will uh, have like the possibility to import the contact, but mostly configure like the, the, the record for the DNS. All of that will be available here. And here you will have everything that is related to Einstein intelligence, so AI related stuff. So that when do I send my email at the best time um, to which audience is very engaged. So you have that for SMS as well, WhatsApp. And in analytics, you have the same process here. You will need to install additional package. Um, I think like the great thing that Salesforce did about this product is that everything is like plug and play. As you can see here, it's just about clicking on uh, install button and it will install all the package. And after you have everything that is additional. So for example, the brand, if you want to uh, keep like some specific color to indicate your marketer that they only can use uh, color ABC so that they, they, they have like the brand guideline directly accessible, everything related to Einstein as well will be available in here. Uh, so, so, so so like the generative AI, uh, the ag agent force, if you want to create marketing AI agents, all of that is in here. Uh, but I think the focus is this email. Analytics are very important. SMS, if you use it, and the basic settings. So this is how you can uh, enable your marketing. After, as you can see, it will be accessible directly from the app launcher. Um, you will have the possibility to see everything uh, 
directly uh, into, into Salesforce and you will be able to run your marketing campaign directly uh, into Salesforce. So I think that's pretty much it in terms of enabling the platform, like the base of it. Um, I think in the next video, what we will be working on is really like creating like all of these assets at this once, a form, a landing page, an email template, how you can personalize them, how you can analyze the data. Um, so, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it on how to enable marketing cloud growth. Uh, as always, if you have any question, please let me know and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.